That's what they are now getting. Oh, Skylar now losing his flicker as well. Purple buff under threat by Yaoi. He doesn't have as well, but Kadita on the opposite side of the map looking to make sure they hold and playing for EXP here. Oh, oh he that, just took it. That's the worst feeling in the world. Truly losing your purple buff this early on. Man. Yeah, tough situation there. I'm at the reinforcements are on their way. Cartesi is playing you the slowest he can. As soon as he'll have Yowie. to pop the Daytona as well. Oh, Yowie fights it. Once again, Clay flickers on out oh. there, but Sanford should be able to find the kill. It lands onto two. Albert is on his way out. Sanji gets the knock up, and Vin, unable to do anything, must walk away. You see you see what's going on here, right? It's all angles. Realize that Albert or maybe R7 Blue to kind of split push the waves destroyed. and allow for Skylar and Clay to just farm the incoming wave. So it's going to be totally defensive now for Arkyoshi. Echo's power spike is literally right now, mid-game. They have to respect that. Yep, Sanford coming in. Oh. Yaoi finds the catch once again. Good wow. spatial awareness and the outer turret will fall as Echo now with a five-man five man pushing into the inhibitors against four. RRQ playing hyper defensively. Al Albert making sure that he doesn't get locked down for the time being. R7 looking for something against Sanford here, but the same goes for Albert. He's got to be so careful as the mid wave gets pushed in. We oh. see Skyline get locked down by Yaoi. The counter engagement. Sanford now looking to punish the back line oh. instantly. They Finds Kyler, no flicker for him. Albert's trying to run Vinny with a wild charge to make it out of there. And once again, the economic advantage from Echo still puts them ahead. I definitely agree with you, Gideon. It's just the items that allowed Echo to really just hammer to like a bantering ram against RQ Oshi. But all down maybe is much better. But as this game progresses, it's 9k ahead for Echo, and it's showing here as the Lord marches the mid. This is going to be a guaranteed inhibitor, but top side is collapsing at the same time. R7 is trying to slow it down, but now the engagement happens, and immediately Sanford with the Black Dragon Ball with the help of Zaman Force, the back line getting attacked by R7, but it really doesn't matter here as the Shard Residue keeps Sanford alive. Immediately, we see Skylar fall once again, and that is going to be that. Wait, hold on. Yeah, we're trapped. Oh, no, no, no. Up. They can't seem to be getting out of here Good with draft. the barrier already down. Yeah, Benny QT jumps into oh! the seven force once again to finally turn this fight around. Real phasing through everybody. And R7 is just looking helplessly. R7 tries with the bravest warrior, but the rest of them are looking to end this game. Call TZ is walking backwards, but Sanji as well doesn't want to jump in. It's too threatening as the Divine Judgment comes on through. Knock up connects. Rough Waves not going to be committed. Daytona's welcome. Throws him against the turn stuff. And that is going to be game Benny. number one for Echo. First blood drawn here by Echo. And again, a very strong fashion. We've seen it before in previous series. RRQ struggling to hold on in this game one. Honestly, GG well played to Echo. There yeah. is just...